Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 Reloaded, my max social link run through. If you are new to the channel, welcome, I am always happy to have new new viewers. Uh, I am Shikyo Sendo, I also go by the pen name JW Ashtier. Ashtier is actually a name of a character I wrote about a long ass time ago, and I thought it would be, it'd be nice to um, honor the memory and my friend who uh, helped me come up with the character. Hence the name. As for JW... You don't need to worry about that. <laughs> um, so I wrote a fantasy book. I am actually working on the second book of the series as well. If you're interested in reading any of it, feel free to check out the description below or in the comments. You don't have to buy the book. It's a $5 ebook, so you can read it anywhere you want to. You do not have to buy it to support the channel. I give you guys videos because I love playing games and they are interesting. Uh, but if you want to support the channel, I would personally appreciate it. As for uh, people returning, welcome back. Always glad to see you. I do read every comment uh, that's posted, so don't don't feel bad about leaving a comment. I usually read them. Just be nice. And um, if you don't want to leave a comment, don't leave a comment. I'm not going to force you. I'm not your mom. <laughs> so, last time on Persona 4. Persona 3. Persona 4 is in a few weeks. Um... We went to Kyoto, and nearly got executed by Mitsudu, and we're back! Hooray! We survived. Um, tonight, we're going to walk Kodomaru with Ken. Looks like Kodomaru's really happy to see you. You guys have been gone for a while. You guys must have had a lot of fun on the trip. You've all been talking about it non-stop when we hang out in the lounge. Koromaru and I were the only ones left behind at the dorm. So it was really quiet during that time. I can't remember the last time I spent so many nights without hearing a peep. I stayed up late watching TV with Koromaru in the lounge. Then I'd doze off for a while, but it was actually so quiet. I couldn't sleep right. Huh? What's the matter? I think there's something he wants to give you, Senpai. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've been able to tell what Koromaru is thinking lately. It's probably because we spent so much time alone together these past few days. By the by, this is completely optional. You do not have to do this. Um, I want to because we haven't seen Ken or Koromaru in a while. Yeah, let's get through all that. Hold on. Sorry, I had a cough. Okay. Stay awake. Today. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright. We'll be heading down into the flower beds. Right here. Talk to her. Give her the Odin juice for 5,000 5, 5, yen. Then head to talk to Elizabeth. Good. Requests. Here are my requests. Turn it in. Went to uniform. Nice. Good. Here are my requests. I always double check just in case. All right. Um, next, we are going to go talk to, uh, Mitsudo-senpai. Well. Who is at GeckoCon in the faculty office highway, uh, hallway, highway. Do I have the Arcana? I do. Hello. Um. Want some time? Yeah, sure. I see. By the by, um, in order to hang out with Mitsudu, Yukari, and Fuka, you need to have the three core um, attributes maxed. Uh, with Yukari, I think you need max charm. Mitsudu, you need max uh, intelligence or knowledge. And Fuka, the last one. I can't remember what it was. 
Um, I need to know the etiquette of this place. Are there any customs I should follow? Okay, so, as a side note, fun, a fun little side note. Um, Japanese etiquette is actually pretty interesting about this. You would think slurping the noodles would be considered rude, but it's actually kind of looked looked upon favorably by the chef because it's one of those things that's where it's like you are so enjoying the food that you just throw out etiquette out the window. It's just this is so good, I have to eat it. Um, drinking the soup is also a common thing that um, most people do with ramen. Adding a lot of toppings, that's a, pref a preference, as well as don't let it get soggy. Um, I think if you add a lot of toppings, you might get in trouble. You might get, you know, looked at like, you know, like, was it not good enough for you? Type of a thing. Um, personally, if I had ramen, I would eat it as it is. I wouldn't drink the soup, the dashi, the soup, because I'm not a big, I don't like it. Um, it's way too salty for me. Uh, but I would not let the noodles get soggy. Um, I, I'm a very much a texture-based eater. I can, I can, I can taste, you know, flavors, you know, spicy, um, sweet. I can taste the difference between, you know, different types of chocolate and stuff like that. But I cannot stand mushy goopy foods. I can't stand stuff like jello and tofu. So don't let it talking. Oh, understood. So it's important to eat quickly then. Sounds sensible. I imagine said eagerness shows respect to the chef as well. Now then, let us begin. Bon appétit. Strange at first, but it carries with it a subtle complexity. Yes, this is quite delicious. Excuse me, Monsieur Chef de Cuisine. Chef de Cuisine, talking to me. Your ramen is absolutely wonderful. It's been a while since I last gave my compliments to the chef. What do you use for the bouillon? Bouillon. What the hell is that? Asking about the recipe? Sorry, miss, can't tell you. That's how we put bread on the table. So it's a secret recipe. I completely understand. You don't have to tell me. You mentioned this dish puts bread on the table? I suppose that means it comes in sandwich form as well. I see. What a fascinating delicacy. Uh, that ain't exactly. The recipe of something this delectable could likely be patented and sold for quite a profit. Oh, sorry, um, my imagination got the best of me. I've been wanting to try ramen for a long time. <sighs> Do you find that unusual? Oh, that's good to hear. I never had the opportunity to eat this kind of food growing up. Sorry, I'm just gonna say this again real quick. I'm gonna say this real quickly. If you have the opportunity to have actual ramen, not, you know, cup ramen or maruchan, get it. It is infinitely better. <laughs> like, it is... Oh. I just ate dinner, now I'm hungry. Fuck. The style of restaurants is new to me, too. So, I have to admit, it's something I've always wanted to try. I'm glad we came here today. You've already taught me so much about ramen etiquette. I would love to return here in the future. You actually can turn, um, Madachan ra uh, ramen, you know, the, uh, ramenette packet, into actual proper ramen if you have the extra ingredients. 
Um, it's actually not that hard, and there are a lot of videos on YouTube that will uh, show you how to do it. But uh, definitely give it a try. The basic ingredients are there, but you definitely need, you know, uh, bigger vegetables. You need proper pork or chicken, depending on what you type you make in, stuff like that. Ah, uh, God, ramen sounds so good now. I haven't had ramen in years. Excuse me. Okay. And tonight, uh, we're going to hang out with Fuka, tending in the garden. Let's do it then. should adjust the amount of fertilizer and make sure they get enough sun. They look like they're growing fine now. <sighs> what a relief. Oh, I only lent a helping hand. I'm sure tending them is important, but it's all thanks to the plants themselves for being so strong. You know, after I treated the plants when they were sick, I kept coming back here to check on them. I noticed that the spots where we had cut off the leaves were already sprouting new ones. And in just a little while, they were healthy and green all over again. Maybe I'm making a big deal of this. But it made me realize that life is actually quite amazing. It didn't matter that they had been weakened or had damaged parts. Just giving them a little support was enough for them to show how strong they really are. really gave me hope. I think in a lot of ways, we're just like them. I'm not sure how to say it, but I hope I can be as resilient as these plants are. Woo! Personality trait. Weakness mitigator. Greatly reduces damage taken when an ally's weakness is struck? Hells to the yeah! That's actually really good! One more time, just to show my appreciation. Maybe if I keep thanking them, they'll grow even healthier. There actually is an experiment that that was All done right. about that. That should do it. Shall we head back down? Um, basically speaking to plants more uh, positively, you know, actually tending to caring to it. Mm. Um, would the theory was if you would speak kindly to it, treat it respectfully the plants would actually grow healthier as opposed to, you know, violently, speaking to it violently and whatnot. Same thing with, they did the same thing with music and whatnot. Um, the results pretty much were, it does nothing. <laughs> um, and anything that was uh, gained was pre purely anecdotal. It didn't stand up with uh, repeat testing. What am I drawing? Why is this? It's been a while. That voice. I'm glad to see you once again. Jin, the instruments, if you would. Here. Don't tell me you can't even recognize your own evoker. <gasps> now there's nothing in the world keeping you here, yes? Surely you understand. There is nowhere for you to go. Your only choice is to come with us. You know all too well that death is not to be feared. You need only fear. I know, Takaya. Excellent. It's all his fault. Ever since he started getting too close, I've suffered. Every single day. And now, I'm afraid to die. Hey, Fiori, hurry it up. Nadia, let's go.
I do have to admit, I like the slight redesign of Chidori. It's very, ah, uh, Upgoda. It's very subtle. Um, in the original version, she seemed a lot smaller and more younger, pretty much. Um, in this, they actually make her seem a little bit older uh, with her uh, avatar's design. The picture is still roughly the same, but, you know, obviously redrawn. But I do really like the cha the slight changes they did to her uh, overall sprite. Alright. Uh, today... Optional T Tanaka by the Garnet set. I'm just kind of curious about that. Yeah, sure. Garnet and Opals. Bye bye. Alright, and today we're gonna hang out with Akinari. like you to celebrate with me as of today i am a free individual at ask him you finish your story no not quite yet almost though i just came from the hospital they were going to admit me but it's no longer needed i guess my body is too weak to undergo surgery so i've opted out of examinations and medication I'm done with the hospital. Now, I'm just waiting for the end. But I don't feel like I'm being singled out anymore. Everyone is waiting to die all the same. Some just have longer to wait than others. But once the time comes, it's the same for all of us. I'm still a little lonely. But I've moved past the sadness. Could I get a better look at you? I want to remember your face. Aww. Thank you. I'm a little bit tired today. The story is almost done. So I'll show it to you soon. I'll come see you again. So sad. <clears throat> Alright, and tonight we're going to make coffee with Ken. Um. Oh, right. I think I've said this before. I'm not a major coffee drinker. I, I, I'm personally a tea guy. Tea, water, um, some lemonade if I want something really sugary. But I'm, I'm mostly tea. And if I had to pick a tea, I know it's a bit cliche, but I like green tea. I really do. I've never really liked the, um, some of the more bitter flavors with, uh, like, Earl Grey and, uh, other, I can't think of any top of my head now, damn. Jasmine, I didn't like. I, I, or, yeah, I don't even like chamomile, but I really like, uh, green tea. meant to be taken black, don't you think? It's the only way to experience the natural taste of the beans. The one from Brazil is very smooth, while the Kilimanjaro one is more sour and full-bodied. Oh, um, it's called a value-packed blend. I bought it at the supermarket. Does the quality of the beans really affect the flavor that much? Maybe I'll try some better ones next time. Anyways, sorry for the sudden invite, but they say that drinking coffee can help you relax and concentrate better. I just thought something like that might benefit us in our upcoming battles. And I figured if I could learn to make good coffee, people might find that useful. I'll do some more research. I can tell there's room for improvement. Sorry for asking you to help me clean up, too. Please, take the leftovers with you. Although... You might not necessarily like it. 
Sure, I'd prefer my coffee to taste good, but I could do without all the test sticks. Um, it's not that I don't appreciate the flavor, it's just that it's not good for an elementary school kid to drink too much, so... And you seem like someone who'd appreciate a good cup of coffee, like from a cafe. I hope you have another cup the next time I make some. I'll make sure it tastes better by then. <laughs> well then, good night. I can't drink coffee, it knocks me out. I don't get- I don't sleep when I'm- when I get knocked out by coffee, so I always wake up dead tired. But it's just, ugh. Sorry to wake you. Um, I I'm not sure how to say this. But you need to go to the fourth floor, and please hurry! What's going on? Yamagishi detected a presence. Other Persona users. They're outside Tartarus. Other Persona users? You don't mean... Rika. They're still alive. Man, those bastards! First the Dark Hour doesn't go away, and now Stray does that? What the heck's going on? Yamagishi, can you see who it is? There's only one of them, but... I thought she was in the hospital. Hiyori? She hijacked the transmission? I can't stand the sight of you all anymore. So I've decided to get rid of you. Come to me. <clears throat> Yamagishi! I'm... okay. I don't get it. Wasn't she in the hospital? Junpei, do you have any idea what's going on? <sighs> Junpei? Shut up! I don't know shit! God damn it! Well, Junpei, come back! This is almost certainly a trap. But it's Strega we're dealing with. We can't just ignore them. And if we confront them, we might gain some insight on the current situation. Please be careful. I only sensed one person, but the other two could be nearby. True. Leader, we have no idea what they're planning. So choose your team wisely. We'll go after Iori once you're ready. I know who I'm running in. <laughs> yeah, we're all set to go. <laughs> yeah. doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know I'm not that smart. And I've done a lot of stupid things. But this... This is wrong. We shouldn't be fighting each other. Junpei-kun, look out! Fuck! Hey, that was close. You could have killed someone there. Yori. Junpei, talking won't solve anything now. It's too dangerous. I know how you feel, Junpei-kun, but please, just back up. Medea. All right, time to fight Chidori. This isn't where I belong. I've known that from the start. Chidori! What the hell's gotten into you? Oh, Lord. Who? Okay, she's tough. All right, uh, Thatos. Actually, she's probably heal everyone. 
I think the boss actually is, is scaling to our level now. At least slightly. Alright, um... Yeah, Promo Force. Oh no. Hey, right, we're good, we're good, we're good. That uh, squat. Okay. Um Let's go keep healing. We're not gaining any thurgy. I am not gaining any thurgy. Good to know. Weird arrows, try that. This pain is nothing compared to the suffering I'm feeling inside. This is nothing. I don't feel it. Jeebus! They changed the animation. That's interesting. Uh, before when he did, whenever he cast a spell like that, he would hold his arms out, and the coffins would open up. So that's kind of cool. No. Alright, it's Diamond Dust. Nice. Ouchies. Keep everyone's health up, just in case. Because she does hit hard. That Maragallon was uh, pretty painful. from interfering as requested and look what became of it chidori i see that it is too late you've been poisoned by them what the hell does that mean you freaking ghost ha. i am no ghost Fa 
fate simply permitted me to live despite my detachment to life. You might say I was chosen. Bastard! That's it! I'm not letting you do this to her anymore! Chidori was my life! Junpei. Chidori, come with me! Don't stay with these guys! Hmm. Junpei, look out! I'm so glad you're awake. Chidori? Uh-huh. I thought I was. I guess I was wrong. My fear, my heartache, I blamed it all on you, Junpei. I'd never felt that way before I met you. And for the first time in my life, I, I realized what I wanted. And... What's that? I... want to be with you, Junpei. Forever. I... um... uh... I... I want to be with you, too. But it could never last. And it breaks my heart. You're different from you since the moment I gained my power. I've known the day I was going to die. Huh? The very thought of it horrified me. Up until then, I'd never once thought about death. But I realize now, dying means I won't see you anymore. Chidori. That's why this is for the best. You can't die here, Junpei. Me? I... What? to bestow life i don't believe it she brought him back from the dead but wait if she goes as far as completely reviving someone the cost for that would be Shh. Uh, Shidori! <sighs> so it worked i can hear you the sound of Chidori, stay with me! What the hell are you even talking about? Hey! This is how it has to be. Don't worry. I'll protect you, Junpei. Always. Yeah, same. I've got your back. I'll do everything I can to protect you. So come on! Say 
something, please. Such a meaningless end. Meaningless? Hmm. I love the symbology behind this. Um, as a side note, Trismegistus. That is Hermes' full name. Hermes Trismegistus. So basically, Chidori awoke in Hermes to his true form. And I love it. It's, so, it's, so, it's such a poetic scene. to respond in kind. Sakaya, no! Don't forget about your mission. You don't gotta waste any more time on it. Hmm. I have a much greater purpose to fulfill. And since you have no means of destroying the Dark Hour, there's no point in dealing with you any longer. Enjoy squandering what little time you have left. Trusted you with this life. Don't just throw it away. Chidori. Chidori. I. I. Oh God, this is so hard. But it's not just my life anymore. Junpei. I really hope they leave in a certain thing. So, I'm gonna give a slight spoiler, um, possibly. Uh, when I leave this screen, if you don't want to be spoiled, uh, that's your sign that I have um, moved on from from it. So when you see me go past today's Labor Day, Thanksgiving Day, Labor Thanksgiving Day, there's no school. Uh, you know that I've I'm done talking about it. So, in the very original Persona 3, uh, I'm starting by the way. Uh, Chidori dies. Period. Nothing you can do about it. However, in FES, the re-release of the first Persona game with new content and stuff like that, um, there was a way to sort of quote-unquote save her. It's a little different. Uh, I'm not going to go into details about that. Um, I really hope, I really, really hope that they include a way to do that here. I don't know if they have. I'm following a guide on my phone telling me um, how to do the max social link playthrough as well as a bunch of missable stuff. So I hope they include it because I really, I, I would really love to see that they include that. Especially with all the little cutscenes we just saw because those were so freaking adorable. But yeah, uh, let's see. Anyway, let's continue. All right, and we are back. Enough spoiling things from previous Persona games. Now then. Uh, today is the 23rd. We are going to go to Naganaki. 
and draw fortunes for Hide Hidetoshi, the Emperor. Alright. And tonight... We are going to use the dormitory computer to do mental image training. Alright, so it's not in any of these. I'm assuming it's going to be this. But we're going to check the other stores just to be safe. Check the net cafe first. I don't see it anywhere. Had the club escapade. Things that note, uh, no, I guess I got it. Alright, so the mental image training, which is, I'm assuming, the sage thing, because that's about the same concept. Sage brain training. Charm, Courage. Okay. Alright, so from the 24th to the 26th, we're going to do the same thing. Career Experience. Howdy! This is new. Everyone who's in the internship program, please follow me to the back entrance. We'll provide you all with uniforms. Once everybody's dressed, we'll get to work. When you're done there, could I ask you to take the trash out? Uniform. Forgot you chose this place too. Uh, yeah. So I guess we both picked the same place for the internship program. You're already a step ahead of me, though. I overslept like hell. Uh... Oh, damn it! Oh, I really screwed this one up. Coming in late on my first day, they're gonna be so pissed. I know a guy who works here. He said the manager's a real hard ass. I really don't want to go in now. What do I do? You'll come apologize with me? Dude, you're the best, man. No, 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 wait. Even if you back me up, I can't just tell them I overslept. Wait a minute. I could just pretend I was here all along. Put on a uniform and stroll in like nothing happened. I'll just say my stomach wasn't feeling so good and I was in the bathroom this whole time. So, uh, please, do me a solid. Grab me one of those uniforms and bring it out here. I'll treat you to any food you want. You can look at my homework, so please. Oh, come on, man, you gotta help me. Just hop on in there and grab it real quick. If you hide it under your shirt, nobody will... Oh, there you are. Working hard. Seriously? 
Why do I get stuck having to supervise two classes worth of students? I'm suddenly the young and spry teacher when it's convenient. Sorry, I shouldn't be complaining to students. In any case, it looks like you two are doing just... Uh... Hey, Tomochika, why are you still dressed like that? Wait a minute, don't tell me. Well, uh, you see, I may have slightly overslept. Are you kidding me? How many times did I tell you all to be here not a minute late? Jeez. First someone skipping out, and now this? Why does it always have to be my class? What? Somebody skipped out? Well, that's just terrible. Talk about a failure of a human being. So, who was it? Don't you grin at me like you found a friend. More importantly, I sure hope you called to let them know you were going to be late. Uh, well, you see, I guess my schedule just didn't line up, so... Always call first when you're running late. It's common sense. Ugh, I'm definitely getting a talking to later. You're going to go apologize, right now. Wait, now? I, I need to gather my thoughts first and, um... And what exactly do you mean by that? You're not trying to find some way of getting out of this, are you? Uh... Are you even aware of all the trouble you could have caused? You left the team short-staffed. The manager's probably worried. If this were a real job, you'd be fired on the spot. Now, go in there and apologize. Be ready to accept whatever punishment you get. Yes, ma'am. Not even in the slightest. But I'm the one who got myself into this. If it makes you this upset, you shouldn't have been late in the first place. Remember, when you apologize, try to explain how you'll improve for next time. It reflects on you better. And no excuses. Make sure you really mean it. You got that? Makes sense. Well, here I go. See you later. <sighs> Guess I should go put in an apology from my side as well. Oh, by the way, have you heard anything from Iori? I see. At the very least he could do is call out or something. Oh well, you should get back to work. Anyway, I'll be going now. Put on a big smile and show them how much you love working service jobs. I figured it was going to be Junpei. Oh, I feel so bad for him. Honestly, I'm really glad they included this as well. Um, in the other one, you don't have this work day in the originals. Um, you just go to school. It's not really handled well, Junpei going through all his emotions. It does make sense that he would not be in any condition to work. Like, at all. an order? <laughs> Looks like you've got the routine down. Maybe they'll hire you full time. <sighs> Looks like you're doing all right. Oh, it's nothing really. If you don't mind, uh, could we talk for a bit when you're done? Hey, manager says to take your break. What? Mochizuki's here? I see you chose this place too. Well, my internship ended a little early, so... So what? You came here to rub it in my face? You better not start picking up chicks in here. You are literally a chick magnet, you know that? Our sworn enemy. Oh, now that you're here, I'd actually like to get your opinion too, Tomochika-kun. 
About what? Lay it on me. We got time. They said I should take my break now, too. Come on, this is our chance to chill. I don't even think about wiping tables. <laughs> you two get along pretty well, huh? I guess I'll go order something. You guys go ahead and find a seat. Hold on, the manager hooked me up with some nuggets. Let me go grab them. Not such a bad person once you get to know each other. Just kind of intimidating at first. I think this should be enough for the three of us. Nice, you know your junk food. Now this is what being a high schooler is all about. So, you wanted to talk about something? <sighs> well, it's about Junpei. Yori? Aren't you guys doing the same internship? Yeah, we were supposed to, but he didn't show up. Until today, that is. I finally saw him, so we talked for a bit. Did something happen to him? I guess I should have, but I don't know. I couldn't bring myself to do it. It felt like he was suppressing an unbearable sadness. Like he was forcing himself to act normal. You know, Mochizuki, you're really starting to get on my nerves. Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why? You're that good looking, but you still watch out for you, bros? You're too perfect. What are we even supposed to do about this guy? Anyway, I don't know what's up, but I guess even Iori's not immune to getting bummed out sometimes. Guess that shouldn't be surprising. No one ever said being a teenager was easy. Let's give him some space, yeah? He's got this guy living in the same dorm. That's a recipe for recovery for sure. He helped me a lot too. I'd probably still be moping around if it wasn't for him. So don't worry, I'm sure Iori will bounce back in no time. Well, nothing more to do but take him to karaoke sometime. I'll let him know you were worried about him. Thanks, Tomochika kun Oh, crap, the time. Yeah, I gotta get back to work. I didn't even get to eat any of this. It's up to you now, Mochizuki. <laughs> I don't think I can eat this much. Uh, guess I'll go ask for a to-go box at the register. He's probably right. I'm sure Junpei-kun will be back to his cheerful self again soon. Especially with you around. You're his best friend, right? Yeah. I'll do whatever I can to help. I have to admit, I'm a little jealous. I never really had someone like that before. <laughs> before? But what about now? Seeing Junpei-kun like that had me worried about you as well. But I guess you're doing just fine. It's just... <sighs> I don't like it. Seeing you... Seeing my friends in pain. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag this on so long. See you later. Good luck on the rest of your shift. I've actually had to work through uh, um, a shift or two, a few shifts after yeah. someone close to me died as well. Yes. It is not easy in the slightest. Um, there were quite a few times where I was very close to snapping at people because of it. So, Ugh. it's it's just all around bad. Alright, we're going to... So I'm reading this right. Hang out with Kodamaru. Give him the brushies. Okay, a little more. Oh, 
lucky charm. An actual lucky charm. They're magically delicious. <laughs> Yee. What's the eighth? A lot going on today. Good morning. So people have visit have gotten lost in Tartarus. All right. And today we're going to hang out with Mitsudu. Hello. And based off of this, there is no preferred comments. So just put what you want. So I want to bring this up, because this... <laughs> I die laughing every time I think of this. I've seen an etiquette video on how to properly dine. And they talked about how to eat a burger. You have to cut... You have to, you have to eat it with a fork and knife. You cut it in half. Making sure your wrists are on the edge of the, of the of the table, not your elbows. You take and you you know put the put the fork and knife down, and then just take a bite out of the burger. It's like honestly, if I was sitting across the table with someone who was doing all of this, I would think they're insulting me. I would just be like the fuck. It's a burger. Na filet mignon. Eat the burger. <laughs> I'd be more insulted like fork and knife, fork and knife. It's like it's, it's it's like eating a pizza with fork and knife. You just don't do it unless it's a deep dish. And that's just because it's, you know you can't lift it up. And for those of you who talk about you know deep dish pizza versus Chicago style pizza, fuck you. Both pizzas are great. to know the average cost per unit oh sorry i found myself lost in thought again in truth i didn't ask you here just to eat i wanted to express my personal thanks to you right now our strength and conviction are being tested to their limits we've only made it this far because we've been blessed with each other's partnership i know i've been asking a lot of you even more than the others but i truly appreciate it I just wanted to make sure you knew that. I love hanging out with Mitsudo. Like, she's the type of person... She, I, I would not have been friends with her in high school. Um, Not because I wouldn't want to be. But because she would definitely be in a different clique than my, my friend group. Um... My friend group actually isn't represented in this game, now that I think about it. I guess Tobo Chica and Junpei are the closest. Um, Not quite, but close enough. But she would be the type of person I would look up to and actually want to be friends with. Just because she seems great. Oh, I didn't realize we were talking for so long. It would be rude to let the food grow cold. Shall we begin? Try to keep your chin up, Junpei. I know. So what do you want? This came from the hospital. What is this? Chidori's sketchbook? 
They found it while they were sorting through her belongings. Ah. Um. Uh, no. I gotta snap out of this. But it's just so hard. Hey, Junpei, can I take a look? You probably wouldn't understand her drawings anyway. Good. This is amazing. Who wouldn't understand a drawing like this? Huh? What? It's. It's a detailed portrait of Junpei san. Sorry. She's telling me to stop moping around. Junpei-kun. Okay, I'm gonna fight to get rid of the Dark Hour. I'm sorry for all the times I snapped at you. I still hate to admit it, but... Just know I'll be counting on you. Well, I got the third G. Blaze of Life. Oh, that's... That's a good surgy. Holy hell. Junpei. I believe in FES, you also gained a... Uh, you didn't get a surgy here, obviously. Because this is new to this game. But I believe you gained a unique ability for Junpei as well. That was uh, tied to Medea. Okay, uh, today we're actually going to be going to Tartarus. Uh, but first... We're going to head to here, see if there's anything in the shops. Uh, what are you looking for? Uh, ooh, a dowel. Nice. Uh, nope, I've already gotten everyone upgraded with that. Uh, anything new in the antique shop? Uh, doesn't seem at least anything I can use. Okay, cool. Down. Uh, let me make sure it's, uh, we're going to do uh, Tartarus tonight. Yes, we are. Cool. So where is Fuka? There she is. Yeah. I'm assuming it's Junpei that can't make it. one instance. Hmm. Right, so who couldn't make it? Yeah, Junpei. I thought I thought he wouldn't be able to. That's a shame. Okay, so as for what we can do this uh set or this uh escapade into Tartarus. Um we need to go to floor 196. Um, obviously get around 100,000 yen. Be around level 68. You're going to reach... The, the highest floor you're going to reach is 198. Uh, 197 is going to have the monad block. And have all the persona required for December. Which is... Let me check it out. 
Uh, Empress, Emperor, Temperance, Star, and Sun. Let's take a look at our social links. Did I ever finish the couple? Hierophant. I never finished them. Huh. Let me see here. Hold on. Okay. We will be finishing it next month. Uh, in December. Okay. I was really confused. Uh, we won't need any of their social links for that, though. And everyone else is pretty close to being maxed, for the most part. Obviously, in December, we're going to finish their social links. Uh, it's the 28th right now. There we go. There's that. Okay. So yeah, that's going to be uh, next month. But for now, that's going to be it for this set. I'm going to go ahead and go through Tartarus. Um, if you haven't done what I've done with uh, leveling up, 68, you should be able to handle the Reaper not easily, but um, he should be a lot easier to handle than last time you were here. Um, again, I only got really lucky with beating him last time. And then I decided I'm going to speed it up by being cheap because I need, need the stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the set. I'll see you guys next time when we continue on... Either from here or out back in the real world, probably from here. I'm going to spend time um, collecting materials, probably kill the Reaper a few more times to get some money, and finish out the social links that we currently have. I currently have, not social links, the uh, compendium I currently have available. I'm probably also going to start working on um, a Persona. Now, as a heads up, I will not pull out Satinelle from the uh, compendium until I fuse him. Um, because it feels cheap just to go, yeah, I got him now. Just because he's a DLC and he's, he's a high-level persona. So that's going to be my stipulation with that. Um, and since I did get cheesy with the Reaper, um, I might increase the difficulty next set. I'll check to see how, that, how I feel about that uh, when I get done with this. But until then, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!